The philosopher Michel Henry defines God in a phenomenological point of view. He says, "...God is life, he is the essence of life, or, if one prefers, the essence of life is God." Saying this we already know what God is, we know it not through the effect of some knowledge or learning, we do not know it through thought, against the background of the truth of the world. Rather we know it, and can know it, only in and through life itself. We can know the essence of God only in God. This life is not biological life defined by objective and exterior properties, nor an abstract and empty philosophical concept, but the absolute phenomenological life, a radically immanent life which possesses in it the power of showing itself in itself without distance, a life which reveals permanently itself. A manifestation of oneself and a self-revelation which doesn't consist in the fact of seeing outside oneself or of perceiving the exterior world, but in the fact of feeling and of feeling oneself, of experiencing in oneself its own inner and effective reality, as Michel Henry says also in this same book, God is that pure revelation that reveals nothing other than itself. God reveals himself. The revelation of God is his self-revelation. God is in himself revelation, he is the primordial revelation that tears everything from nothingness, a revelation which is the pathetic self-revelation and the absolute self-enjoyment of life. As John says, God is love, because life loves itself in an infinite and eternal love. Michel Henry opposes to the notion of creation, which is the creation of the world, the notion of generation of life. The creation of the world consists in the opening of this exteriority horizon where everything becomes visible. Whereas life never stops to generate itself and to generate all the livings in its radical immanence, in its absolute phenomenological interiority that is without gap nor distance, as we are living and by consequence generated continually by the infinite life of God, as He never stops to give us life, and as we never cease of being born into the eternal present of life by the action in us of this absolute life, God is for Christianity our Father and we are its beloved sons, the sons of the living God. This doesn't only mean that he has created us at the time of our conception or at the beginning of the world, but that he never stops to generate us permanently into life, that he is always at work in us in the least of our subjective impressions. See also Names of God Conceptions of God Existence of God Topic. Citations Topic. Topic. Primary references Topic. Michel Henry, The Essence of Manifestation, The Hague, Nyhoff, 1973 Michel Henry, I Am the Truth, Toward a Philosophy of Christianity, Stanford University Press, 2003 Michel Henry, Words of Christ, Eerdmans Publishing Company, 2012 Topic. Bibliography Topic. Gabriel Dufour Kowalska, Michel Henry, Passion et Magnificence de la Vie, Beauchene, 2003 Philippe Capel, Aide Phenomenology et Christianisme chez Michel Henry, Editions du Cerf, 2004 Antoine Vidalin, La parole de la vie, Parole et silence, 2006